In the last video, you were able to fetch all the rocket launches from the Persistent Store, but you didn't have a way to sort the incoming data. If you create a new rocket launch, it's simply add it to the top of the list. What if you wanted to display the soonest rocket launch at the top of the list and later rocket launches at the bottom? For that, you can use a sort descriptor represented by the NS sort descriptor class. A sort descriptor is a description of how you want to order a collection. Open rocket launch plus core data properties .swift. Earlier, you defined a fetch request to get all rocket launches from the persistent store. The initializer for the property wrapper took an array of sort descriptors and you just passed in an empty array, indicating that you didn't want the data sorted in any way. You could amend this method, but you might need to reuse this elsewhere, so let's define a new method that returns a sorted fetch request. Next, you need to define a sort descriptor. A sort descriptor takes the key path of the property you want to sort against and a sort order. Let's define one to sort on the launch date. Here you've created an instance of in a sort descriptor and specified launch date as the key path to the property you want to sort on. Remember, these are objective C types, which is why you're defining string key paths as opposed to Swift's typed key paths. Passing in true for the second argument indicates that you want the first date to be the smallest value. You can now use the sort descriptor when defining a fetch request. Back in launchesView.swift, you can replace the basic fetch request with the sorted fetch request you created. Let's take this for a spin. Build and run the app. You should see the two launches that you added before. If you add another rocket launch with a later date than the last one on the list, it is now added at the bottom of the list instead of the top. If you add one with a launch date between the first two, it gets sorted into the correct location in the list. Sort descriptors, like the simple one you just added, are fairly easy to write and allow you to define sort logic in a declarative manner, stating how you want the results sorted instead of writing out the actual sort logic. It's called a sort descriptor for a reason. You can do more than simple single property sorts. For example, let's say you wanted to sort by title and then by launch date. Add another function to define a third fetch request. Next, add a sort descriptor to sort by name. I've set ascending to true, but you can set it to false if you like. As an aside, you might be thinking, what if I wanted more fine grained sorting on the title? The sort descriptor initializer takes an optional third argument, a closure that allows you to return a comparison result to sort on. You already have the date sort descriptor from the previous function, so you can copy that down here. You can now define a fetch request using these sort descriptors. Remember, the initializer takes an array of sort descriptors, so you can apply both of them. The order you specify these is important. By listing the name sort descriptor first and then the launch date, you're specifying that you are sorting the launches by name first. Then for cases where the title is the same, you want to order by launch date. Let's try this out. In launches view, swap out the fetch requests with the latest one. Build and run the app. You should see the launches sorted in alphabetical order. To test whether both sort descriptors are working, let's add one more launch. Set the name to a nighttime launch and give it a date that is earlier than the current launch with that name. With two identically named launches, it's hard to tell which is which. Luckily, there is a detail view we can point each row to in order to find out the launch date. In launchesview.swift, 
Wrap the content of the HDAC in a navigation link that points to a launch detail view. Build and run the app again. Now you can click on each row. The new launch you added gets sorted by name correctly alongside the existing nighttime launch, but also gets sorted before the existing nighttime launch, since it launches the night before. Sort descriptors are straightforward to understand and offer a simple but powerful way to sort the data fetched from the data store. In the next video, let's talk about predicates.